Hey guys, it's me, that fish guy, and today I just wanted to bring you an update of the brackish water tank. Oh, I'm sorry, my finger got in the way there. So, I think it's looking really good right now. I really want to pile the sand higher on the mud skipper side so I can get more water in here. But that would also require that mangrove to be at a higher spot. So, I have several red claw crabs here. Here's a really good shot of one. I don't know if it's 15 or it could be nine. I have really no idea. I have a couple that had no legs, so, or they had legs, but they didn't have legs on both sides, therefore they were free. Um, they've been living okay. I just got these guys in today. You know, obviously they have legs on both sides, all of their legs. Um, so this, I just have several areas in here for the mud skipper to perch. As it be, the mud skipper is hiding behind the filter. I've had a really big issue with my fish hiding behind the filter. Um, I don't know if anybody knows why this is. They like hiding there, um, especially the gobies, and I've created areas, oh, there goes the archer. I've created areas around here for the gobies and stuff to hide, and they just don't seem interested. They seem to like around the filter. I don't know if this is a scientific phenomenon, Probably not, it's just my gobies are odd. But yes, they group around there by the filter. In here I have two flounders. That looks like a piece of crab meat, actually, that is. Anyways, in here I have two flounders. Um, I have no clue where they are at this moment. Um, I also, in the back, have a violet goby, a fan dance goby, the archer, and a mono and by the way guys the mono as soon as he gets big enough to get out of this tank he will be going into a saltwater tank along with a couple other monos my store only got in one mono that day so you know can't make two out of one so i'm sorry i the really the only good video i can get here is of the red claw crabs oh well there goes the mud skipper so there he is back there near the beach is what i like to call it I don't know if I can get my camera to focus. Oh, no, but does not seem interested in focusing on the mud skipper. Yep, I'm sorry, guys. It does not seem interested in focusing on the mud skipper. But you can see him back there if I can ever get my camera to focus. I will give you a really good video of him without me talking. That didn't look good. Um, I also have a couple updates on the saltwater aquarium, the Amazon. Oh, there's the fan dance goby right there. But anyways, I have a couple updates on the aggressive tank. I did get an African butterfly fish on the Amazon tank, which is just insane right now. Um, the Indian dwarf puffer tank, nothing new has happened. I re escaped it. That's really all that's happened. Um, and besides that, really, there's not too much that has happened. I did get a red belly pocket. I did get a red belly piranha. I don't know if that mentioned. I don't know if I mentioned that in last video. But those guys are going to go to the aggressive tank as soon as they get big enough. Which the pocket is almost to that size. He's getting pretty big. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, and I'm almost to 100 subscribers, I believe it is. I'm sorry, I've not been checking that often. But, um, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Oh, and there you go, you get a good shot of the red claw crab coming out of the water using that plant. But, thank you guys for everything you do. I will have more updates, and this has just been an update on the brackish tank, so bye.